Hi, and welcome to your gold market update charts of the day. It's Monday, the 23rd of October. It is the midpoint of the Asian session. Mike Smith, senior analyst at Go Markets, leading you around what's happening as we start the week. Of course, we had that broad based sell off on Friday again in the US. We've still got earnings season, of course, which is very much on market minds as well. That ramps up this week. There's about 17% of the SP 500 reported so far, with around about 75% beat in EPS. So that's not too bad, but the Middle East is dragging the markets down. We've got indices testing key technical levels to the downside. Certainly, if we look at the S&P 500 and a NASDAQ chart, you'll see that for yourself. US futures, however, are positive in early Asian trading, but Asian markets are following that weak lead on Friday. Cosby is the outperformer, pretty well near neutral, but everything else is looking pretty grim. ASX is down around 0.8% at this stage, with only a couple of sectors in positive territory. The VIX moved higher again to close at the highest level since May on Friday. Down a little bit today because of those equity futures being slightly positive. And European futures are pointing to a cautious open this afternoon. The US dollar index is trading higher and remains in a short-term range. It does look as though the market's a bit uncertain about what to do with the USD for right now. And we also saw gold pause after that flight to safety buy-in for most of last week and challenging that next resistance at 1980. Just down a little bit in Asia so far as the market takes a breath. Copper's also testing support. It had its lowest close really since May and all fails to hold the test of that short-term resistance that it was doing on Friday. And we're seeing a further pullback in oil price today. So commodities looking fairly weak in the Asian session so far. One thing that isn't looking weak is Bitcoin. That continues to move higher. It's top 30,000 this morning and the buying appears to be still coming in fairly significantly. 30,500 is a key technical level to keep an eye on. And as we've already said, earnings will be the focus as things ramp up this week. And of course, the Middle East is certainly on the agenda as well. It is a quiet day today today. So... We will see technically driven markets and perhaps some of that money that came up on Friday just creeping back in to the market. But I'm not expecting anything too significant at this stage. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye. We're starting the ASX and we're going to look at Treasury Wines Limited now. They have pulled back from their early highs of the session. There was news that China may relax their tax on wine exporters and obviously TWE would be a beneficiary of that. But we aren't seeing that sustainable this morning yet. But I still think it's worth keeping an eye on a move back above this 200 MA, which it did test earlier in the day, and possibly a move over 12.25. I think that happens and we could see this up to $13 pretty quickly. TWE did pivot and invested a lot of time and energy in opening up European markets to a larger extent when essentially the China market fell flat. But that relaxation of tariffs could be a game changer for wine producers in Australia. The Swissy pairs are probably looking fairly interesting. We can see the Aussie Swissy on the 30-minute chart as a good example here. We are testing a short-term resistance of around about this 56.43 area. And we could see if there's some buying pressure comes into this and move possibly up to around about 56.70, 56.80 sort of level, which is where this range was previous, previously. So that's certainly worth keeping an eye on too. In either case, I would still consider this to be a high-risk day. Of course, things could escalate further in the Middle East at any moment. And it really is from tomorrow that those big earnings come into the US, which have market-moving potential as well. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.